What is up everybody? Sveinsen here back with another MLB 9 Innings video. Let's get this kicked off. This week I have decided I am going to finish up Black Diamond training on my first player. So you guys are going to get to take a look at that. I'm thinking it's going to be Jim Edmonds and in fact I've already put the Black Diamond pieces into him. Um, and the reason I chose Jim Edmonds is because uh, Black Diamond training for um, primes gives them a higher grade increase which instead of just giving them flat stats gives them stats to places um, that are already heavily weighted in their base training um, so Jim Edmonds has a lot of power and contact in his base training he's special trained for power and contact those numbers will get even higher uh, with the black diamond training right so um, Let's kick it off. We'll start with the packs that we have for this week. Not a ton, um, but we'll get them underway. We'll start with the silver player packs. No primes in here. We're looking for Adam Wainwright. Um, and originally I was going to wait. Uh, I was going to wait to use my black diamond pieces for when I do have Adam Wainwright ready to go. But that's no fun. I'd rather have a black diamond. Uh, I'd rather have a black diamond sooner, and you know, it, it will take me a little bit to get back to, um, back to the point that I'm ready to uh, use one on the Adam Wainwright 14 that I have. So let's continue. Next up, premium player packs. Really hope that I get some diamonds out of here. Um, Special training materials hard to come by. At least we got some golds. Also, we're looking for really high break guys. Um, which I don't see any here. That's for my uh, mentor training. Just got to keep working on that. No diamonds. Don't see any super high break guys. That's fine. All right. Done with those, moving up to live season team selective pack. And then you know what, I figure I'll get a second skill set on Jim Edmonds as well. And um, see if we can't get a legend skill on him. He has a pretty good skill set as is, I really like it actually. But I want to see, you know. Jason Hayward. I want to see what else we can pull. That's that's the good thing about second skill sets. So we'll use those premium skill changes we have on him. Michael Waka. I think that's his good year too. I have one of his bad years, but it's still fine. It's not great. And Joe Kelly. Hey, that's an upgrade. I'll take it. Three ultimate player packs. Come on. Please give me a diamond. Oh, three golds. Three golds. Hi, Breaking Ball Sean Doolittle? No, that's only because it's in up condition. I need to get to at least 105 break. I don't know how I'm going to do that, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, let's go get rid of these. Um, or, you know what? We'll keep them around. Let me... Dump in my upgrades. First off, Joe Kelly. That's good. We like to see it. He has finesse stability, so we're going to want to make sure we get him finesse trained. Then Curtis Granderson. I'm going to be completely honest. I had no idea he played for the Brewers. Like, I, yeah, I have, I had no idea. This is, this is a shock to me. But let's get him upgraded. Nice, we take that. He has pretty good training going underway, so we're happy about that. Anybody else? Nope, just some doolittles. So we'll save the special training for Jim Edmonds. Let's go on ahead, pull out some premium. We should have started with the intermediate and basics. Let's go pull these out, two silvers. Neither of them legends, but they're not bad cards. That Palmero, in fact, is a pretty good one. Some intermediate vintage player packs. 
Johnny Bench should be a legend, but he is not. And some basic player packs. Hickman and Culp. Nice. All right. Let's run back by my team real quick. I can show you what's going on here. I finished up training my red Shane Deans. Well, sort of. So he has a 60 base uh, grade increase. And so that means that there's nowhere to go but up for using grade increase resets. So my plan for him is to use a grade increase reset, see where that drops his uh, stats. I don't have enough club coins for one this week. Maybe next week or the week after that I'll be able to get around to it. Because um, my goal for him is to have 120 con, 120 power, and 120 eye when it's all said and done. And if I do that and I get good skills then I think he should be better than Jed Jerko. Even though Jerko will, at the end of the day, have more power and has great skills and is one of my top hitters, I think having a more well-balanced hitting train, um, if I pair it with good skills, will make Red uh, able to start. But at the end of the day, I can, I can watch him and uh, compare. But first, I have to get his grade increase reset. You know, so I can figure out whether or not I need to reset this train to try to hit that goal. So, just keeping you guys in the loop. And then I also got close to finishing up Dick Hughes. I'm not going to finish him yet. I want to wait until I roll skills on him. Um, that way, if I roll dominant pitcher, I can train him up for it. And I did some math, and there is, n I think there's no way that I can get... Uh, finesse pitcher trained on him right now um i've even played around with the grade increase but i can get dom um especially if i get a higher gi than the 67 so he also needs a grade increase reset uh, and once i have you know a two or three skill skill set i can finish his training and either put all those points toward velocity and fastball or um retrain him for the loke and the break so i would prefer if he got dom um, just because his base velocity is so low, I'd rather train up the velocity and top it out. So, yeah. So that's that situation. That being said, let's go what we're really here for. Jim Edmonds. Right? I guess I have to go to the special upgrade. Go to Black Diamond. And grab... Jimmy Edmonds. So I've done most of this for you guys. You don't have to watch me do the rest. Um, man, I'm excited for this, though. I it, you, it used all but 20 of my coins, but the next black diamond I'm going to go for is going to be Adam Wainwright. So um, he'll only take 60, 40 more. There's an event going on that will get me more. Um, so that's not too big a worry. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that. 119 overall. Black Diamond. 151 power. 132 contact. So now we get to do the other fun part of this, which is start special training him. And the reason I chose him over one of the SIGs is because the SIGs would take a long time to get done, you know? Like, I still had 20 more to, to do. He's an endgame card, just straight up, so. Um, yeah, might as well dump this all into him. Look at that. I am super pumped. He's going to have... Uh, that's going to get me some of the vintages that I have in there, which we do not want. Yeah, that that is an awesome card, especially once he gets special trained up. Especially because once he gets special trained up, he'll get a, another two points to I, I believe, which puts it at 120. I think 120 is the lower threshold for... Um, 
I think 120 is like the lower threshold for for a stat to be considered elite. So get him up to 120i. Next up, let's go here. And let's give him some skill storage. Okay, that's fine. We're good resetting that. Um, and that's what we're going to do. You can only get legend uh, legend skills with a premium skill change ticket. So we're going to use those. I'm thinking until we get legend skills, we just use the club coins and the... Um, we just use club coins and we use the uh, three tickets every week to try to get him some legend skills. We got two tries this week. Let's see what we got. Slugger Instinct, Leg Day, Fastball Killer is better. Um, still not a legend skill set. Let's see here. Chance Maker, Barrel It Up. Okay, Chance Maker. Increases con, eye, and speed. Falling batter's chances of getting extra base hits will increase according to the on-base count when you successfully got on base. And then, so it has Barrel It Up, which relies on high con and speed. Uh, and I already know it works with him. He's one of my best hitters with Barrel It Up. Um, and it only got better with his recent GI. The falling batter's chances of getting extra base hits will increase according to the on-base count when you successfully get on base. Interesting. We're going to take it. We got legend skills. So here's my plan is I'm going to train those up. I'm going to get chance maker to six, uh, barrel it up to six, and then reliable up to whatever it will go. Increases con, increases the power of the next batter when you get to base. He's my number three hitter, so that's going to make my cleanup hitter have more power. Um, he's going to have so much contact, he's going to hit so many balls, and he has enough power. I'm thinking that, you know, Chance Maker seems like a really good leadoff skill, um, but this is a two skill skill set with a legend skill, so I'm excited for it. We're going to see how it goes. You know, maybe if he ends up being a high average, I'll move him into number one on my lineup. That's currently where I have Yadi Molina. So, yeah, exciting. That is exciting. So let me go view the details. Wow. Sick card. Can't wait to special train him up more. Uh, I'm going to change his skill storage back to number one real quick just because there's ranked going on right now and if I go jump into it hopefully nobody did a battle with me cool I'm chilling at gold two and there's about four minutes left until it locks so I'd like to hit gold two this week I need more stars for a lot of things but I mean while we're here we got the vintages you guys want to do a vintage combo 700 stars why not or do we wait a week for the double mileage? That's the smart thing to do, is wait a week for double, double mileage. So, I think I'm going to do that. Give you guys one last look at this Jim Edmonds. Um, I'm excited to figure out how this chance maker skill works. I'm excited that I only took two premium skill change tickets to uh, get a black diamond skill. I think there are some better for what I want out of Jim Edmonds, but... Um, I'm not complaining. I'm pretty excited to have him in the lineup. So, all right, that's it for today. If you guys like what I'm putting out, you know, be sure to leave a like below. If you've stumbled across this video and you like it, be sure to drop a subscription. Um, and yeah, leave a comment down below and I will, uh, try to get back to it either. You know, maybe I'll just leave a heart or maybe I'll try to respond to it. I try to be pretty good about that. And yeah, uh, I'll put out another video this time next week. I'll see you guys then.